So you know what a pain it is to try and get that thick, bulky 24 pin ATX motherboard connector up through the cable management grommets into your case and then shove it into the motherboard itself trying to keep all the little pins lined up and not snap the board in half. Well, this is just one issue the new ATX12VO standard is aiming to solve. Instead of that annoying 24 pin connector, the aim is to replace it with a much more manageable 10 pin cable. I mean, 10 pins is good enough for bowling, so why not for motherboards, eh? Oh! All right, strike that from the record. It's pretty oh. You like the bowling jokes? I got spares. Ah. Anyway, let's dive in a little deeper into what this all might mean for your next PC build. On modern platforms, nearly everything on a motherboard uses power off the 12 volt rail of the power supply. That is, the incoming power is 12 volts, which is then further stepped down to be suitable for whichever component needs the juice. CPUs typically use fewer than 1.5 volts, for example. However, Traditional ATX power supplies not only have a 12 volt rail, but they also have five and 3.3 volt rails. This is the reason why the ATX connector has so many pins, but there aren't many components on the board that still use the five and 3.3 volt rails. So why keep them around? Hence the mere 10 pins you'll find on the 12 volt only ATX 12 VO standard. If only having a 12 volt output is good enough for most components, why bother having a larger connector? Additionally, not having full on five and 3.5 volt rails coming off the power supply should make it more energy efficient, especially at idle, and ultimately be a little easier on both your power bill and the environment, especially as government regulators around the world have been demanding more and more power efficient electronics. And because the PSUs won't need as many electronics inside them, since they're only outputting a single rail, they might even be less bulky. So great, let's start sticking ATX 12 VO equipment inside all of our rigs. Well, hold on a second. There are some drawbacks on doing things this way. For starters, one very important standard still uses five volts, SATA. If you're using a typical ATX power supply, you can just connect a SATA cable from the PSU directly to your drive, and the power supply will provide the appropriate voltage. However, an ATX 12VO power supply is incapable of doing this. So instead, SATA power connectors will need to be moved to the motherboard itself, which will take care of the voltage conversion potentially making things a little more complicated and messy when it comes time to build your system. Additionally, that little 10 pin connector may not be able to provide enough power if you're using it in a higher end rig. One early ATX 12 VO motherboard we've seen actually has an additional six pin connector, which can double the juice, but now you're having to plug in 16 pins instead of just 10. It still beats dealing with a single bulky 24 pin brick, but it does negate the space savings somewhat. And you'll still need the typical PCI Express and eight pin CPU connectors too. So while it should make tinkering with your PC a little easier, don't expect the ATX 12 VO standard to be something that totally revolutionizes the DIY computer scene. But if the 24 pin connector is the absolute bane of your existence, when will you actually be able to get your hands on an ATX 12 VO power supply and motherboard? Well, right now they're mostly being provided to larger OEMs that sell pre-built PCs, and it's unclear if the new standard will even take off at all in the enthusiast space. The power supply manufacturers are reportedly reluctant to switch over to ATX 12VO, though there are also reports indicating that Intel might make the specification mandatory on motherboards for its upcoming Alder Lake processors. So we'll just have to wait and see if it has staying power. I'm just waiting for the day where we can power everything with a single cable. Kind of like I tried to do that year with my Christmas lights. Big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Brilliant is a website and an app that makes learning accessible and fun. It uses active learning with problem solving and interactive visual concepts. There's no grades, there's no long lectures or strict time limits, but there are over 60 courses on everything from astronomy to programming with Python. One of the courses we suggest is the cryptocurrency course. You can learn the history of how we went from traditional currencies to crypto and how cryptocurrencies are created. Using Brilliant, you can master subjects instead of just memorizing the answers. So join the community of 8 million learners and educators today. The first 200 people who head to brilliant.org slash techquickie will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up down in the comments section with your ideas for topics that we should cover in the future.